What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get around the Web3 transaction rejected error that seems to be happening on the Sandbox staking page. Now, the method I'm going to show you today is not an official recommendation from the Sandbox. I'm just showing you a way that you can actually get around having this problem and still effectively use the contract. Now, this error happens um, whether you use a hardware wallet. I'm not sure if it happens without a hardware wallet, but it can be pretty annoying and I'm going to show you how to get around it. So here we are on the Sandbox staking dashboard and you'll notice a couple buttons here, deposit, withdrawal, and claim. Now, if you're having the Web3 transaction error, you are not able to use any of these buttons. It just simply does not work, which is incredibly frustrating. What I'm gonna show you is how to use Polygon Scan, which is the same as Etherscan essentially for Polygon to run these same functions directly through the contract. Now here we are on Polygon Scan. I'm gonna put the link in the description below directly to the contract. You have to make sure 100% that you are on the right contract for staking MSAND, which ends in 9ABD. Uh, there's not really a lot of risk here. It's not that difficult if you know what you're doing. However, you just need to be on the right contract. So just make sure 100% sure that you are in the correct page. Now, what we're gonna do is come down here and click the contract tab, and then we're gonna click write contract. Now, this can seem a little bit scary for a first time user, but these functions that are listed on this page are exactly the same as the functions that you would see on the sandbox staking dashboard. It's just that we are doing them from there instead of here. So on Polygon Scan, the functions that are effectively deposit, withdrawal, and claim uh, can also be found on this page where you can connect your MetaMask wallet and do the same uh, operations. Now the functions we're going to use here, there's a, there's a long list, but we are mainly going to do um, exit, get reward, and then at the bottom there is stake and withdraw. Now what exit means is if you run this uh, button right here, it will effectively remove both your deposit and your claim claimable rewards at the same time and make your MSAN balance liquid. If you run get reward, it will only run the claim side, which is uh, on the sandbox dashboard. This button right here uh, is your basically is get reward. Um, so that's how you would do that. And then down here, stake is actually the same as deposit, which is right here. And then finally is withdrawal on Polygon Scan, which matches up to withdrawal here on the front end. Now, the first thing you wanna do is connect your MetaMask wallet. You are gonna do that by clicking this button right here, connect to Web3, make sure it's the same wallet uh, that you are using for the Sandbox dashboard staking. Uh, this light will turn green. And that means you are connected and you'll see your Ethereum wallet uh, set up here. Now, again, on MetaMask, you want to make sure you are connected to the Polygon network as well and not the Ethereum network. Now, once you connected, let's go through how you would basically run some of these functions. Um, if you want to claim your available sand, okay, that is just literally the... Um, this button right here, which is, you know, you can run every seven days and you want to make that liquid, um, you're going to run the get reward function. Just simply click this button. It's going to open up MetaMask. There's going to be a small fee to pay. Pay that. And what you'll notice is that the, the balance uh, of sand for the claim will now go to zero, but that liquid sand will now be available um, in your wallet address. Now, if you want to stake that claimed sand, or maybe you just have liquid sand as well that you want to um, stake along with it, what you need to do is come here and note that this says deposit uh, on the main sandbox dashboard. Um, down here, the stake button is exactly the same. So when you run this function, you are going to basically just put in the amount you want to stake and then click right. Uh, but what's interesting is uh, this is where it gets a little bit tricky and I'll show you what I mean uh, uh, on the dashboard. What you're going to do is you're actually going to go to the front end here and click deposit. Okay, now you're going to need a liquid sand balance to do this, right? So according to this, it says I have 226.99 M sand, but my actual balance, if I hover over it, is uh, very long. You can see this uh, huge decimal point placement here. And we actually need to copy that entire thing, that entire number, and then remove the decimal place when we place it in the stake amount here, okay? So what you need to do is actually copy that number. So you have to kind of highlight it here if you can. 
then just control C, come back to the contract, go to stake, control V, and now we actually have to remove the decimal place. Okay, so it looks kind of bizarre to do this, but this is how we actually stake 226 sand with uh, that huge amount of decimal places. Okay, so now we effectively staked sand. Um, basically, all you need to do is go back to your sandbox dashboard, and if you refresh the page, you'll notice that your total deposit will have gone up with however much sand you just put in. Um, it won't affect your claim at all because that's different. That has to build up over time. But basically, you will have just deposited uh, sand into the staking contract. Now, if you want to run the withdrawal function right here, which will just remove your deposited sand from the staking account, but I, do, I believe it does not also claim at the same time. I think that's what the exit function does. It does both of them. Um, you basically just come down here and you do exactly what you did for stake, but you just put uh, the total amount you want to withdraw right here. Now you also have to put the full uh, decimal number with um, like full decimal places, but no decimal point. Same way you did on staking, you have to do that here with withdraw click right, and then when you come back to your dashboard, refresh the page, and you'll notice that your deposit uh, should go to zero or however much you wanted to withdraw, and uh, your liquid M sand in your MetaMask account should go up by the same amount. If you guys enjoyed this video, I just wanted to share with you the Metaverse Exchange at gg.exchange. This is a great way to swap tokens, uh, basically almost any token you want, especially gaming tokens, using crypto to crypto transactions. So for example, if I wanted to use 0.3 Bitcoin to get uh, sand on Ethereum, uh, I could do that using the Metaverse Exchange. Uh, you get great rates here and you can swap between a number of very popular currencies. You have Mana, Axis, Sand, um, you know, SPS, TLM, a lot of things. And you can swap easily between currencies. A lot of people use this site to get wax because wax is very difficult to use. Um, Again, this is not polygon sand if you were trying to get sand, but it does, you know, you can always bridge Ethereum sand over. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to, guys, to share this site with you guys because it's it's awesome for, for just swapping things that you really need. So let's say I was no longer interested in uh, Decentraland, mana, I had 500 mana, and then I wanted to swap into, I don't know, Engine Coin. Uh, you know, which is a great project. You can do that right here. A lot of people grind games. If you grind Axie Infinity and you want to, um, you have that token on Ethereum, you could swap it into Engine. If you grind, you know, if you grind anything, any of these games, or you just kind of want to cash out, like a lot of people uh, play Splinterlands and they just want to cash out into something else like Bitcoin, for example. So let's say you had 50,000 Splinterlands tokens, you could swap into Bitcoin using this site. Um, I believe this is on Binance Smart Chain. Uh, there's instructions on how to do that on my YouTube channel. But anyway, I love using this website for easy crypto to crypto swaps, especially gaming swaps, and wanted to make you guys aware of it.